Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I have one great grab and go for you this week. This week's grab and go is all about chalk. In your bag it should be one chalk on the wild side book, one box of jumbo sidewalk chalk, and some bags even have an I love reading hacky sack in it. In this book, you'll find more than 25 chalk art projects, recipes, and creative activities for you all to have fun with this summer. And here's our friend Parker demonstrating some of his favorite chalk activities. Hi, I'm Parker, and today I'm going to show you some fun games you can play with the chalk from your grab-and-go kit. Okay, so the first game is hopscotch. And uh, for this game, what you want to do is you want to draw 10 boxes just like this. They don't all have to be the same size. And uh, the only other thing you're going to need to play for this game is a stick or a rock. Here's a rock. Alright, um, so the game's pretty simple. Uh, what you do is you throw the rock um, and you jump on the uh, hopscotch tiles. If you're looking for a stick or a rock, you can look around on the ground, but we also have some for sale here at the library for $50 each. Alright, let's play some hopscotch. Okay, nine. Another game you can play is tic-tac-toe, or X's nose. Um, it's lots of fun on a big space. This next game is one of my favorites. It's called Bullseye. So what you do is you draw a big circle on the ground, and then you draw a smaller circle in a different color inside the bigger circle. Um, then you can give them two point values. So I gave this one 50 and 100, but you could do 1 and 2. You could do 5 and 10. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. And then you take a few steps back, and you draw a line on the ground with chalk. So the further, the, uh, further back you go, the harder the game is. Um, so you can play it by yourself or with another person, but the goal of the game is to get as many points as possible by throwing the rock. Um, so you can take turns going and see who can get the higher score, um, or you can just see how many 100s you make in a row. Um, just made one there, but uh, yeah, it's lots of fun. Uh, you can keep score um, with uh, chalk on the pavement too. Alright, I'm going to give it a few throws. Let's see how I do. Let's see if I can make a shot from all the way back here. How about back here? What about from up here? So that's how you play bullseye. Our last game is called shark. Um, so in this game, you want to avoid being eaten by the shark. He's a scary looking guy. Um, so what you want to do here is you want to jump from island to island and cross the water without getting eaten. Um, so this is land here and then there's land over here. Um, so I want to hop from this land to the island, to the next island, to the next island, to the next island, to the next island. If my foot touches the ground, the shark's going right, to eat it. Here we go. All right, and we're safe. If you're playing this game with someone else, the two of you can race and see who can get across the water the quickest without being eaten by the shark. Next, we're gonna be making sprayable chalk. So this is uh, chalk that you can spray on the sidewalk, or if you make it in the wintertime, you can spray it on snow too and color it. Um, so what you're gonna need for this is uh, some measuring cups. So you'll need uh, one cup, one teaspoon, and one tablespoon measurement cups. Um, you'll need a bowl or a cup to uh, mix your uh, chalk together in. You'll need a spray bottle, you'll need something to stir with, and then you'll also need some washable paint. I can't stress this enough, you have to make sure that it's washable. Um, so what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some warm water going here, and uh, you're going to want two cups of that. Um, so we're just going to wait for the water to heat up. In the meantime, I'll introduce you guys to Roger the Octopus. He's just the mascot library this summer. 
for a summer camp. Okay, so that's pretty warm. All right, so we're gonna grab two cups of warm water, and I'm gonna put them, I'm mixing it together in a um, plastic cup, mostly so that I don't have to wash out a bowl because I'm lazy, but uh, you can do it however you want. Okay, so right now I'm gonna be making um, some red paint, but uh, first thing I wanna do once I have the water in the cup is I'm gonna grab one teaspoon of flour. You know, I don't know why they decided to make teaspoon and tablespoon sound the same, but it's just really confusing. But anyway, that's, uh, yeah. So we're going to put the um, teaspoon in the water and we're going to mix that around. Um, so you can use a spoon or um, just a stick to stir it all together. Um, so, you can, if there's chunks, you can kind of mash them up so that, uh, so that it looks like this. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take two tablespoons of the red paint, and you're going to put them in that delicious flour water. And that's number two. Okay. Alright, and once you've got the uh, paint in there, you're going to mix it around. So you can use just a stick or a spoon or wh whatever you used before. Okay, now if you want to add some color, if, um, if that's, not, uh, that's not dark enough for the color that you want, you can always add a splash more paint. Stir that around so it's a bit darker. Alright, once you've got it the color that you would like, um, what you're going to do now is you're going to be putting it in a spray bottle. So you want to find an empty spray bottle, and you're going to need a funnel. Um, so being careful not to spill it, you just want to pour it in there. Go. All right, and there you have it, spray chalk. You can do that for as many colors as you'd like. Just make sure it's washable paint. Here's the yellow spray chalk. Here's a smiley face and a star, and here's a rainbow. And this is how they look when they're dry. Well, that's all for today, guys. Get creative and have fun with your chalk.